Hey guys, Jay here, welcome to Battle.com. Today I'm going to show you how I created a coastline base. Here are the paints I'll be using. So the first thing I did was I took the base and I took a little bit of wood glue and I began to apply it over the entire surface of the base in preparation to add a little bit of flocking. The first thing I added was a little sprinkling of plaster chips, um, slightly larger plaster chips, bigger than sand grains. And then, to finish it off, I dumped on some playground sand. I'm using playground sand and not just regular sand because the playground sand has different, type, different types of grains in it. Next thing I did was I took some Vallejo plastic putty and I smeared it onto one half of the base. And then I took a toothpick and I began to make the wave shapes by poking it into the putty and then dragging it out creating uh, fun little spikes and wave patterns. Then I allowed that to dry, and then I primed it black. I started by painting the earth parts of the base with Vallejo Earth. If you wanted to, you could save a little bit of time by applying this coat with an airbrush because it is what's going to cover most of the base. And then I hit that with a light dry brushing of Vallejo Bone White. And then I added a lighter dry brushing of Vallejo Stonewall Gray. This helps take away a little bit of the warmth of the tan colors. Then I began painting the water portions with Vallejo Magic Blue. This might take uh, two coats, just because it's going over black. Then I took some uh, wet paint on my brush, some Stonewall Gray, and I dragged it over the, the wave textures, which, which would leave a little bit of paint. And then I did the same effect just to the very ends of it with Vallejo Dead White. If you have any other ideas, techniques, like CS2, please leave in the comments below. If you'd like to see more of our videos, you can visit us at our website at eonsbattle.com. I hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching.